Hello everyone, myself Anashara TS, first MSc Biology. Today I would like to discuss about types of centrifuges and rotors. Centrifugation. Centrifugation is a separation technique commonly used in clinical and research laboratories. Its work based on the behavior of particles in an applied centrifugal field. More dense components of mixture moves away from the axis of centrifuges while the dense components of mixtures move towards the axis. In a basic centrifuge, they consist mainly of two components, one electric motor which drives shaft to spin the uh, sample and a rotor to hold the tubes or other containers of the sample. In a centrifuge, the particles are separated from a solution according to their size, shape, density, the viscosity of the medium, and speed of the rotors. There are mainly three types of centrifuge, low-speed centrifuge, high-speed centrifuge, and an ultra-centrifuge. First one is the low-speed centrifuge, which is commonly used in most of the laboratories for rotating sedimentation of heavy particles. And it has a maximum speed of 4000 to 5000 rpm. And these instruments usually operate at room temperature, so there is no need of any other temperature controls. There are mainly two rotors are used in it, that is fixed angle and swimming bucket rotors. Low speed centrifuge are commonly used for the sedimentation of red blood cells until the particles are tightly packed into pellets and supernatant is separated by decanation. Second one is the high speed centrifuge. They are used in more sophisticated biochemical applications. Higher speed and temperature control of the rotor chamber are essential for this high speed centrifuge and have a maximum speed of 15,000 to 20,000 rpm. And the operator of this instrument can carefully control the speed and temperature which is required for sensitive biochemical samples. Three types of rotors are available for high speed centrifuge that is fixed angle, swimming bucket and vertical rotors. The third one is ultra centrifuge. It is the most sophisticated instrument that is used for the study of membrane fractions and has a maximum speed of 65,000 rpm. In ultra centrifuge, the intense heat is generated due to the high speed. Thus, the spinning chamber must be refrigerated and kept at high vacuum. It is used for both preparative and analytical works. Centrifuge rotors. Rotors in centrifuge are the motor device that have the tube with the sample. Centrifuge uh, rotors are designed to regenerate rotation speed that can bring about separation of compound in a sample. There are three main types of rotors used in centrifuge which are fixed angle rotors, swimming bucket rotors and vertical rotors. First one is the fixed angle rotors. These rotors hold the sample tube at an angle of 45 degree in relation to the axis of rotors. In this type of rotors, the particles strike the opposite side of the tube where the particle finally slides down and are collected at the bottom. These are faster than all the other rotors as the path length of the tube increases. However, as the direction of force is different from the position of the tube, some particles might remain at the sides of the tube. Second one is the swing bucket rotors. It is also known as horizontal rotors. These rotors hold the tube at an angle of 19 degree as the rotor swings as the process is started. In this type of rotors, the particles are present along the direction of the path of the force that allows the particles to move away from the rotor towards the bottom of the tubes. Because the tube remains horizontal, the supernatant remains as a flat surface allowing the deposit particles to be separated from the supernatant. Last one is the vertical rotors. Vertical rotors provide the shortest path length, fastest run time and highest resolution of all the rotors. The yield of the rotors is not as ideal as the position of the tube, doesn't align with the direction of the centrifugal force. As a result, instead of sitting down, particles 
tends to separate towards the outer walls of the tubes. These uh, vertical rotors are commonly used in isobionic and density gradient centrifugation. That's all about types of centrifuges and rotors. Thank you.